in a garage behind Pat Manili's Minneapolis home. People ask me where my studio is. I said, this is my studio. An old craft clings on to dear life. These traditional techniques that we use, it was all but a dead art. Wood decoy carving, an 18th century art form that just about went extinct with the invention of lighter, cheaper ones made of paper mache and plastic. Almost all the factories that made wooden decoys went out of business and also the individual carvers couldn't sell their pieces. They couldn't make them fast enough to compete with plastic. So very few carvers survived. To pass on the age-old techniques Pat uses today. Every tool I have is older than 1930. His little studio doubles as a miniature museum. This one is probably made in the 40s or 50s. Full of antiques and other people's work. This is a ring neck dock carved by Marty Hansen. That, I probably hunted with that dock uh, five years. Marty's from Prior Lake, so he's a local boy. And don't worry, if you want to see some of this stuff for yourself, you won't need an invite into Pat's garage. The 40th annual decoy show kicks off February 1st in Bloomington. It's put on by the Minnesota Decoy Collectors Association. If you like anything about the outdoors, uh, hunting, fishing, snowshoes, there's spearing decoys, there's people probably represented 25 or 30 states and several Canada provinces. Also at the show, some hope. This old skill will gain new interest. I just have a lot of fun carving out all the stuff. At a Coon Rapids church, a group of kids are preparing for the youth contest. I like kind of working with the wood. It's fun to get to use all these tools and make the decoys because then I get, when I'm done with it, I get to see the, what I made. Since October, these young woodworkers have been honing their craft. I like the bodies like when we have the cork and when we file it down. And then I like the painting at the end, this one. Skills, if learned early, may turn to hobbies. The average decoy carver in Minnesota now is age 67 years old. To have kids start doing it at this age, maybe if we can get a handful of them to continue as they grow older, then we'll just keep that tradition alive. We love to see the kids getting into it. We've been trying to get kids in it for a long time. And finally, they arrived. An encouraging sign for Pat and his fellow carvers. You can see they're getting better, no question. But only time will tell if these old birds can breed new life in the 21st century.